Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another music reaction. All right, this is going to be another first for me. Um, and just before I get into it, I do want to mention that I've been not feeling my best the past few days, been having some really bad uh, pain days, including today. Um, if you guys are not new to the channel, then you know all about that. Um, but if you are new, I just I just have some chronic health issues. So, so it's a little bit of a rough one, and I'm not really feeling super up to filming. So I thought that I would just film a couple things, and I would try to focus on music that is supposed to be kind of like upbeat. So maybe I can increase my energy levels a little bit, lift my spirits a bit. So that's what we're trying to do. Um, and this is another group that is really interesting to me because it sounds quite different. You guys know I've been going down a bit of a K-pop uh, journey lately, and this was recommended to me. This is actually a virtual K-pop girl group, which I was like, I don't understand what that means until somebody showed me some pictures. Um, this is KDA. And apparently, this is a K-pop group that was put together um, to be supposedly be like representing League of Legends characters. So the ladies singing are all taking on one of the roles of a League of Legends character, and it's virtual because it is the League of Legends characters animated in order to be performing, um, which sounds like really out there but i'm definitely really curious to see what this is gonna look like um and you know i have some information but like i don't know much about league of legends all i know you know i'll talk about it a little after the video um but i see here the characters that are represented in this in this is their first song i believe and it is pop star um pop stars yes are Ari, Akali, Evelyn, and Kaisa. So, very curious to see what this is. I have no idea what to expect going into it. Um, so I'm, I'm curious and excited. Let's check it out together. Here we go. <laughs> this is so... Oh, the dragon jacket! This is the dragon girl, right? Okay, this is pretty cool looking, honestly. This is actually pretty cool. Ooh, that, that one's Ari, right? Fox girl. This girl seems cool. She seems badass. Woo! Woo okay. Okay, figures. Wings, maybe? Hey, no, 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 Okay, that's really cool. That's supposed to be like the tail. That's pretty. That looks so cool with the eyes like that. Very catchy. This is very interesting because what they're able to do with the visuals is quite cool. Ooh. 
This is pretty cool. Ooh, oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that was Pop Stars from KDA, the virtual pop girl group um, of League of Legends characters. Wow, I'm actually. I actually enjoyed that quite a bit more than I expected I would. Like, I. I Alright, so to be fair, going into this right off the bat, I could see. The group, the singers behind the characters are Madison Beer and Jyra Burns, who I honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't know who they are. Um, but then also two of the members of Idol, which is a group that I have reacted to and I thoroughly enjoyed listening to. Um, so I knew I had an idea based on that and based on K-pop in general and going into it that I probably would enjoy the song itself. Which I definitely did. It was extremely catchy. Um, I could definitely see myself listening to that as kind of like hype me up sort of like workout music or just like dancing around to it. It's definitely that. It's got that sort of catchy beat to it. I absolutely can see. So I thoroughly enjoyed the song itself, but that that's not a surprise. I was kind of expecting that part. What I was less sure about was the whole virtual character thing in and of itself. Um, like I said, I didn't know what to expect with it. it. It kind of blew my mind that such a thing existed. And okay, so I was going to mention my League of Legends experience. So I have zero League of Legends experience in actually playing the game. You know, I've seen some things just because it's so prevalent. Um, but you know, my, my esports experience is the fighting games community, fighting games. But with that being said, there is a League of Legends fighting game that is currently being worked on and is extremely exciting. And if you guys are someone that's followed my channel, you know that when they did the little breakdown of where they currently are with that game, with Project L, I was super excited and it started making me kind of interested in, you know, what is what is going on in this wider world, this lore. And then, of course, I also watched Arcane, which I think, like many people who have no experience with League, took that to a whole other level of potential interest. So those are really the reasons, because of me being interested in that and then just generally enjoying Idol and K-pop so far, that I was like, all right, we'll go into this with an open mind. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> um, yeah, and I really didn't know what to think. But actually, it was pretty cool because looking at it, one of the things I realized as it was going through is that this gives an opportunity to do a lot of things visually with a music video that you could not really do with a live performance by singers or even with a typical music video with human beings in it. Um, and Korean um, music videos so far, based on what I've seen, they really go all out visually anyway. They put a lot of time and attention into mapping out exactly what they want to do and the aesthetics of each particular scene. The actual, you know, stages where they work are always interesting, vibrant, you know, gorgeous. They try to like make sure that the costumes fit with it and they have lots of different cool lighting things going on. But nonetheless, there's some things that you simply just can't do with actual people in the video without it looking a little bit silly. So sometimes you kind of get the worry that, you know, effects added in will kind of actually detract from it in the long run. So they can't do everything that they necessarily would want to do. Whereas with this, that isn't an issue. So they can play visually a lot more than you even could in a typical K-pop music video, which they definitely did. And in my opinion, to great effect, because there was some beautiful visuals in this. Um, even from right off the bat, some of the things really standing out to me, you know, when um, the Akali is her name, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but is on the train at first and you see her from the back and she has the dragon jacket on and I was like, oh, that's exciting. But then later you see that represented in other ways, like the the glow of the like neon um, 
<laughs> mask sort of thing the character's supposed to be wearing um, and how it changes. And then with the, the dragon lights on the walls of the subway car and how it was moving, just as one of many examples. And another being um, the Ari's tail when it kind of springs up in that one scene and blossoms out. Um, and it's, it's like crystals. It's like the tail of the character, but crystals. And it's, you know, the way it sparkles and everything in the light. And just just gorgeous. A lot of the things they did, the scenes with the one character, I don't, I don't remember her name, but when you see her in the car driving with the lights and the way that they had the glasses look like actual eyes and the, yeah. So that was actually really enjoyable to watch. The animation of it was something that I thoroughly enjoyed a lot more than I expected. Um... And so the characters, like I said, I don't really know much about some of them. Ari and Akali are ones that I've definitely heard about before. Um, so I was able to pick out some of the things, like I said, the dragon and uh, the, the fox tail, and she also had the, the fox marks on her face. The other two I'm really not as familiar with, but it seems like one had wings, and it seemed like one had, a, like, absurdly long fingers and also they kept doing stuff she's the one that they had the the glasses and turning into like glowing purple eyes so i'd be curious if if these are all like character specific things that have to do with their their powers and abilities that they kind of also threw in there because to me that would be cool also since I, i'm not someone that has a league experience but i do have a lot of experience with other games i can imagine if something like this was made with one of the franchises that i'm super into and they added like little touches into the the characters that were representative of what they could do in the games i would be super excited so you guys that do play and have experience with that you let me know if that's what they did here if that's the case um and then the other thing, so obviously they, they clearly like are having them look different than they actually look in the games. Because I was kind of wondering if it was just going to be like the characters themselves um, in their like main appearance um, in this. And clearly not because they have them dressed like like very fashionable K-pop stars. They, they basically have them as though... It seems to me like if the character was transplanted into our world um, and was a pop star as opposed to just the the character that they actually are in whichever realm in League of Legends they're from, that this is what they might look like. So I also think that was cool and also a really good decision because I was trying to picture like the images of the characters that I know and that I've seen. And I was having a hard time imagining what that was going to look like and how it was going to come across. But I think they actually did a really impressive job from it. I would listen to that song. I was impressed by the aesthetics. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have other songs of theirs you want me to check out, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. But I'm glad that I ended up reacting to this. And as always, if you have, you know, any artist or group specific songs or anything you want me to react to, let me know that as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.